What kind of world is this? I'm late! What is that? Ouch! It's your typical uh, dating sim meeting. <laughs> don't bump into me! Lighter! Orca, your clothes are getting more and more extreme. I don't understand what you're talking about, but you better hurry. We'll be late! Wait, where are we going? To the school, of course. See you later. I can't be late. This will be my third tardy in a row. The only thing she was missing was toast in her mouth. To some worlds, but at least it looks more fun than the other worlds. You never learn, do you? Do you need to consider the reasons behind these worlds? Well, let's uh, check out each... Uh, each place. Uh, you need about 2,500 DP to clear everything. Do. You have stayed in Oracle's Cosmos Feet for quite a while now. Eh? Is there something wrong that happens when I stay for too long? Will Aura become tired, or... Orca become tired? No. And don't scare me like that. But you sure dive into Orca's mind a lot. Why do you do it so much? Huh? I'm asking you. Why do you dive into her so often? That's because I decided I would protect Orca. <laughs> so I'll become stronger. And I'll support Orca so she can craft stronger songs. <laughs> don't expect Orca to test to like you just for that. It's not like I'm doing it to make her like me. Whatever. At least try your best. That looks like a cat riding a vacuum cleaner. How strange. Oh, that's all we can do in there. I'm not going to use a bunch of extra one, though. Alright, that's all we got. Orica, are you tardy again? This makes three days in a row. But I can explain. I bumped into this stupid guy on my way to school. Then I fell. I'm a stupid guy. Oh, it was this guy. I'm not even a student at that school. Stop making excuses. And you're late too, Liner. You two are always late. I'm late? Hey, who are you anyway? How could you forget? I'm Misha, the student body president. Liner, are you alright? Did you hit your head when we bumped into each other? Ah, uh, I didn't hit my head. It's pretty dense anyway. How about you slide this time, Orica? You're failing anyway. I know. The test results are displayed on the wall. We're being assigned to different classrooms based on a performance per grade. Be sure to check it out. All right, come on, Lighter, let's go check it out. I don't think I did very well in the last test. I'll probably be assigned to the D class. D class? Yes, there are five classes, S, A, B, C, and D. S is the highest and D is the lowest. I'm always in the D class. You don't know that yet. You can't give up. I'll go look. D class, class D. And it's B, but... <sighs> How was it? Do I even need to ask? How dare you say that, but you're right. Good morning, Orica. Good morning, Ray. Orica, how was your last test? Did you advance to the C class? Are you being sarcastic? I didn't make it. I'm still stuck in D. Did you make S again? No matter what I do, I always get an S. I don't know what to do. I don't know oh, she doesn't mean to, but she really gets on my nerves. Orica, it's not too late. Why don't you study with me? No matter how much I study, I never get any smarter. I give up. It's too early to give up. Why don't you at least try it? Who are you? I met you before. Are you Orca's boyfriend? I would never date him. Then he isn't. Will you go out with me? No! Why are you asking him all of a sudden? I don't even know. Well... By the way, I have some wonderful information about studying. There's some magic books in the old building to the east. One of the books talks about how to bring out your full potential. Uh, sounds suspicious. Really? Can you tell me more? I want to know all about it. Orica! Well, it'll make me smarter, right? I should go check it out. Everyone's supposed to have hidden talents inside them. All you need to do is figure out how to unleash it. And this book tells you exactly how to do just that. Great, come on, Liner, let's go! Seriously? Oh, so many voices! Sounds interesting. Leave me alone. Hey, another scene in the campus. Hey, Liner! Ruche, I didn't expect you to be here. I'm kind of confused right now. Liner, can you help me? Uh, yeah, I don't mind. Let's see. 49 Dokoi sets, 501 kitty candies, 20 Mega Melts, 28 bottles of carrot mantin juice, 72 Mon uh, Mondaka Babu, and it's certainly different, but I guess this is Orca's image of Cruche. I guess I can't really help if these are Orca's memories. I forgot, but a lot more. What should I do to be able to eat all that? Uh, I have no idea. I need to figure out a way to eat it, or else Misha's gonna have 10 B B Bibi Pop Bowls. If she has that, I'm gonna die! Even if she has those, just don't eat them. But... Misha's scary. I see. To Orica, I guess Misha is a scary existence. Her skills and her actions. 
Uh, well, just think of that on your own. Later. Hey, wait, lighter, meanie. That's just another waste of 10 DP. And we get art. This is the building where that book is supposed to be. It looks haunted. I told you. Let's go back. No, finding the book and getting smart is the only way for me to survive. Let's go. Oh, man, I have to follow her. Doesn't this look like a library? Let's look around. I doubt such a book really exists. Of course it does. Look, I found it. Bringing out your true potential. The three-minute training. Oh, oh, call that quoting the title rather than voicing Orica. Looks suspicious. Let's take a look together. It's too difficult for me to read alone. All right, let me see. Let's see. You aren't even aware of your true potential. By utilizing your hidden talents, you can increase your power tenfold. Once you develop these talents, you'll get perfect scores on tests, be good at sports, and won't be tardy three days in a row. That's awfully specific. I know oh, why it's specific, but let me go on. To develop your true potential, you need to be energized directly by the tower in the center of the world. The central tower works like a pipeline that supplies energy directly to your true potential. But that energy is being blocked by several factors. So all you have to do is get the energy directly from the tower. It's a form of cheating, but it works. This is some book. So we need to go to the tower. That's what it says. Do you want to go now? Will you come with me? Yes, of course. I can't let you go alone. You never know what'll happen there. Thank you. You're so kind. You could read me books all the time. I'm sure I can learn anything. Really? Usually people learn more by reading on their own. That's not what I meant. I just want to study with you. I don't mean to interrupt, but can I talk to you for a second? I have no idea who's, who it is. Who is it? Coming from the corridor. I didn't mean to surprise you. My name is Relalala. Nice to meet you. You own this building? No, I'm just your guide. My guide? Yes, I'm here with an important message. It's not a good idea to get energy directly from the tower. I have a better suggestion. You should get rid of the cat in front. Cat? Is the cat in front of the tower? Yes, it's a strange cat that steals your magic. That's why you don't do well in school, but you can craft so strong magic. What? How did that happen? You did it. You set a limit on yourself. Or you did it. You set a limit on yourself. But I've said too much. I should get going. Cat, I set a limit. We should go to the tower. Bothers me. Hey, have you seen a strange man who wears a gown with eyes on it? I dare you to make less sense. The only thing I know that is Orca crafted him. You will find out why soon enough. Now, there is a bonus scene on campus, which is why I had to grind for 2500. It is optional, but like I said, we are going to do it all. It'll appear after this. Cat. So this cat steals power cells from the tower? But did I create this? I don't remember doing that. This must be one of those subconscious things I was told about. How can we beat it? I don't know. He didn't really tell us. What? I thought you already knew. How was I supposed to know? <sighs> you two make a terrible couple. Huh? Misha, the student body president? I knew it! You created this stupid looking cat! You better get rid of it before it causes any trouble. What? The real Misha doesn't talk like this. Why do you always have to run your mouth? You're right, she does run her mouth. Who are you? Oh, we met her already once! What? Why are you dressed like that? You have the worst taste in clothes. I can't let you walk around like that. How dare you speak to me like that? Orica, let me show you something interesting. This cat has been stealing power, right? What happens if we point this cat at that snobby little girl? Suck! No. Suck! Suck! It's really a kappa. It's going after Shiro Kodama. So, this cat is useful after all. Isn't it great? The cat is sucking up Misha's power instead of yours. 
No, stop it. I don't want to gain power through such horrible means. Are you sure? I know you're the same as me, but you're getting on my nerves. Deep down, you want to do this. That's the whole reason why the cat can do this to her. That's a lie! This is your soul space. Everything in here was created for a reason. You want all of this to happen. No, I don't! Let Misha go! If you really wanted me to let her go, you would have made it happen by now. She bothers you a lot in the real world, doesn't she? Well, we're ahead of the curve on the, in the Cosmospheres, but that's okay. I don't blame you. She's always with Liner. She attracts everyone's attention with her good ideas and experience. Let's face it, she's a natural-born heroine. Our total opposite. No! She's way better than we could ever hope to be. We only get to see her from the back. All we can do is hope that she will fail. No! Stop saying all this in front of Liner! Oh, you're trying to hide our true self from Liner? Why bother? Sooner or later, you won't be able to hide anything from him. No! Liner, don't listen to her! Don't listen to me! Don't even look at me! Liner has every right to hate us. It's kind of interesting that he hasn't left us already. I'll never hate you, Orca. In fact, I'm glad I'm hearing your true feelings. Stop lying. I was always worried about how quiet you were. You never showed any emotion. But now that I know how you feel, I feel like we're getting closer. But I have so many ugly feelings inside. How can you still... It's not a big deal. We all do sometimes. We just don't usually say them out loud. I like seeing your emotional side. Thank you. I'm glad you feel that way. There. I've taken enough energy. Here, why don't you take it? I don't want it. Are you sure? I don't need you to give me more power. I can get stronger on my own. That's... I've seen you before. Yeah, yes, you have. But this time, I'm playing a different role. I'm working for Arika. My job is to be innovative, to create things beyond the normal scope. You know, Arika really wants to make some drastic changes. And I can multiply her power from within. Really? I created you? That's right. Be careful, I'm very delicate. Once you start to feel uncertain, I disappear. <laughs> I can only show up when you're confident about your power, so keep that in mind. Okay. I didn't expect you to make something like that. You might be me from a higher level, but we do think differently. Now I want you to leave. You changed your attitude just because you made one little thing? You may not understand it yet, but you're wrong about us thinking differently. You'll see, soon enough. But I'll leave you with this cat for now. You can do whatever you want with it. No! Losing power! Misha! What should I do? We have to get the cat to give her back her power. Full power! I'm done! Oh no! The cat! We have to catch it! Misha, I'm sorry. This is all my fault. I'll get your power back. Just hold on! After that, we get the booster blue magic at the very least. Alright, anything else? But we do have, at the school, 900 DP for an optional scene. 
though the culprit who was taking all in the magic powers was shaped like a cat. How ironic. Huh? What do you mean? Well, it's not that important. Since Orica is a big cat lover, I thought it was weird. The entity that was stealing her own powers is in the shape of a cat. So maybe she had a bad experience with one. Do Orica like cats that much? Now that you mention it, she was playing with a cat at the inn. It's not on the level of just plain like. Orica was a cat fanatic. She can even speak the cat language. Uh, cat language? Well, I don't know if they really understand her. But when she's talking to cats, Orica seems so happy. She sits in front of the cat and begins meowing to begin her conversation. I see, but that seems like something a normal person who likes cats would do. You think so? But no. Orica's felinophilia comes to his full strength when no one is watching. Full strength? What in the world does she do? Well, let's see. She'll roll around with the cat and ball up together and fall asleep and be like that normally while she's with a cat. Uh, really? I can't really imagine that from usually quite Orica. Well, she probably won't be doing it in front of other people. Too bad, but you'll never get to see it. All that to learn about Orca's love of cats. I'll take it. Orica, there's a cat in my room. I believe it has strong draining capabilities. You found it! Let's work together to catch it. Let's go, Rabbit! You're doing great! Let's take it down! You think you can take me on? I suck all of Misha's power! I'm not a failure like you! Thank you for creating me, but I can't let you win! No! Orca, don't listen to it! You found out the true identity of this cat! Unused power, due to your lack of confidence, created it! This cat sucks up the power you deny yourself, so stop denying your abilities! I... I'll be okay. I won't deny myself anymore. Now you can't suck up my power ever again! I'm proud of you for saying that! Hmm. Let's get it to it! Cartoon sound effects! You did it! I got rid of the cat! What? This is... All the power that she had denied herself has been released! So, Misha? I'm here. I didn't really like getting caught up in all of this. Misha, I'm so glad you're okay! Wait! Get off of me! Sorry. Well, now I suppose you can escape the lowest class. I sure hope so. Don't just hope for it. You have to believe that you're not a failure. It will take some time for her to get used to it. Ray! There's no need to hurry. I will wait for you to climb up. That sounds nice, but I always get the feeling that you're looking down on me. That simply isn't true. You're just imagining it. Magic Cube, Blue Magic. It's a paradigm shift. This time, you have made an extreme change to Orica's mind, I must say. Oh, did I do something wrong? Oh, no, no. Everything is magnifico. Double check for anything left behind. Ended up with a more of a surplus than I expected, actually. Thank you for helping me again. You always come through for me. Well, I really didn't do much to help you on this level. Do you really believe that? You encouraged me so that I could overcome my obstacles. But you did everything yourself. You need to remember what you did on your own. I guess you're right. I should get going. That is one long braid. Well, for that, we get school days. 
Don't watch the anime. Except it's level 5. I wonder what it's like. Are you getting scared? Are you kidding? When you return, I expect you to do your best. You've been doing such high di level dives, haven't you? I've never seen anyone go oh, this deep level so quickly. Yeah, it's what? We've been doing what? Within 10 parts? Huh? Really? In general, people, when two people click, level 3 is the highest level they reach. So if you reach this deep a level, you've already installed, right? Huh? Installed? Oh, you haven't? Why don't you give it a shot? It's not like that. I've never installed before, so I didn't even know how to ask. Never? Then you better be really gentle with her. I see, but I don't even know how to install. What? That's even more surprising. Installed by inserting a grass node crystal directly into a tailed body. By doing so, the various powers of this crystal will be added to a song. In other words, her songs will be strengthened. But there's a downside to it. Rathnode crystals are harmful to raven tails. It's kind of like increasing your power by taking poison. Poison? I can't do that to Orica. Not. Uh, it's up to you two to decide. Why don't you go to the inn and talk it over? Up. Oh, before we do that, let's give her her new costume. So, very slow burst variation after a couple levels. Drop an MP. I'll probably stick with Holy Guardian after we get the costume. Of course, the registry is pretty fast, so it's a bit, it's a bit of a trade-off. In the meantime, let's go back to the inn and clean up. Definitely rest. Can I speak with you? It's about an install. Will you install on me? Orica, I'm so much weaker than average raven tails, and I don't want to cause any more trouble. It's the least I can do. Besides, I'll try my best as long as I'm with you. What? You're the only person I feel comfortable enough to ask. Please? Alright, are you sure about this? I don't want to force you. I don't mind. To be honest, I'm a little scared. But I've heard it hurts when you push it in. But I'd rather be strong and help you, so please be gentle. I'll do my best. Thanks, Liner. You're so kind. Oh, you've never installed before, right? Want to do it now? It'll be good practice. If you don't have a grass node crystal, use this. It's not as effective, but it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt as much going in. If you have the grass node crystal, 10% song increase. So installing is it's exactly what the person at the dive shop said. You put a grass node crystal inside... Oh, she's speaking. The installing is exactly what the person at the dive shop said. You put a grass node crystal inside me. I thought it was a, this was a tutorial. Normal tutorial. But you can't just shove the grass node crystal in whatever you please. All raven tails have a spot on their body called the installer port. It reacts to Grathnel Crystal and takes them into their body. In my case, it's around my neck. See, uh, part my hair and look at my back. Uh, what? Are you sure? Just take a peek, okay? Please don't stare at me there. Okay. What's this? There's a pattern on your skin. That's the installer port. See a circle in the middle of the pattern? If you put a Grathnel Crystal up against it, it'll take it in. Try it. By installing, you can add a special effect to any song magic. For example, installing a Grathnel Crystal with a poison effect onto a simple damage spell would add poison damage to the song. You should set, install and test my song then that. Well, who's talking here? There we go, okay. Vote for boom. Let's see, let's uh, undo that. Basically, I do believe there's a limit because. That's the blind, that's okay. Base damage, well, an additional damage is quite nice. Yeah, so we don't want to do too much. Because it will increase the... Actually... Okay, so life... Okay, we don't have a whole lot for blue magic, I'm not going to worry about that. Actually, yeah, let's, uh, let's trade that out.
Yeah, I'm mostly using Boom right now. I'm not going to worry too much about installing until I get more. Yeah, that's what I have to worry about. That's what installing feels like? That was difficult. Are you okay? It was pretty painful for you. <laughs> a little, but it was the first time for both of us. We can practice and find less painful ways of doing it. I'm sorry. I'm okay. I decided to do it. I'm glad it was with you. I'll ask you again to do it in the future. You can now install an Orca. You install the droid has been added. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we know. Okay, now the talk topics. I'm so jealous of Misha. Of Misha? Yeah, because she's so talented. I was always just a failure. But lately, I'm starting to feel a little more confident in myself. Every time you dive, I learn more and more songs. But no immediate level 5. Uh, install tutorial ate up all the time. Alright, let's finally head out to the silver plate. Or silver plate, rather.